Hi, I'm Terry Brock reporting for Business Journal, showing you today a great little tool that I've discovered that can help a lot when you are dealing with your backup situation, being able to play files in different places, and we're talking about smartphones, of course. We've all got our smartphones of choice. We like these. We use them a lot. And often you've got files that are on your laptop computer or on your desktop. They might be videos, they might be documents, audio, or others, and you want to view them here. You want to consume them. For instance, salespeople might have a brochure or a newly minted uh, device, and they want to put that on here. Well, you can do that, but if you've got them in another place, it can be a little bit uh, difficult. However, I found this tool that can help a lot. It gives you the ability to do that. This one is called the PhotoFast CR8800. That might be a little bit blurry there on the, the video as the uh, video tries to focus on it, but it's a photo so fast, CR as in Charlie Romeo, 8800. And I tried this thing looking at it, see how it would work. It uses an SD card to get information from one place to another. These tiny little SD cards, this uh, little micro SD, will go, it can take up to 128 gigabytes on the uh, PhotoFast. So you can take that, put it into uh, your, uh, your device, and then be able to see it. This would work with the iOS, only the iOS, not on the Android side yet. I understand they're working on that, but right now I can use it on my iPhone. This is my iPhone 6 Plus. And let me show you what it does when we actually bring it on the screen. Okay, we're looking at my screen now here on my iPhone, mirroring this on here, and as I turn it over, you can see it landscape size. It looks a little bit nicer that way, and I can take this. So I'm going to take the device itself that I was showing you. I'm going to plug it in here, down here in the Thunderbolt port and the connector, and when I do that, it gives you a message. It says, hey, we've detected something that works with this file that you have downloaded, this app that I have called One, O-N-E. That's one that when you first get it, first time, you need to select that. Well, I'm going to take my little stylus pin here and allow it. So I'm tapping allow and it goes in there and look what that does. It grabs over here looking at the external storage. I have used about 30% of it with the files that I've placed on here already and I've got the in-app store. I can uh, look at that. Now when I turn this over it does not show it to you landscape like this. I can only do it in portrait so uh, hang in there. But this is really good. Look at the options that are here. You've got music that you can use, photos, video, access YouTube on this very easily, Vimeo, and a lot of other options too. Matter of fact, I tried the voice recorder. Here's something that's very nice. You can create audio notes on this. It uses the audio recorder that's built into the iOS, and then I can move those over to the storage card. That way I don't clutter up my phone with lots of details and lots of files. I go, where did that come from, etc. I could copy it over if I want. So I could copy it, have it in both places, and it acts as a great storage and backup. So when you think about it, you can buy as many of these as you want and create a library of important files. I use them this way where I'll take these, plug it into the other size, uh, regular size uh, SD card, and then I can use that on my laptop computer works very nicely. And over here, look at also what we have, external storage, et cetera, et cetera. When I tap on external storage, for instance, it shows me several folders that I have put in place there. So I've got backup, camera sync, CES 16. This was the big uh, electronics uh, event from the Consumer Technology Association out in uh, Vegas in 2016. Music, pics and vids, these are folders that I have created. Matter of fact, let me tap on recorder here. You'll see it's got uh, folder A, B, C, and D. This came from another application. So I tap it there, and these are audio files that I have recorded on my phone, and then they were backed up here to the smart uh, card, to the SD, and I can put it back onto the computer. Really, really nice to have. So this has some uh, really good applications. Think about ways that you can use this for listening to information if you want to have it on here that you're going to listen to, say, on one of those long flights or so. You can put it there, not clutter up your iPhone with the information that you want, and just have it securely backed up on an SD card. That way you could have multiple SD cards that you'll listen to. Also, you can record audio and video here and then transfer it over to that card. Another really nice feature of this, here, let me come back over here to this, gives you the ability and go back to the home position here, and you'll see I can put this also into Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud Drive, Baidu, PCS, etc. cetera. Uh, all of these are available, and I can back up very quickly. Often, you will need to back up your calendar, back up your photos, or back up all. You can back up all of that with just a tap of the 
uh, stylus onto your screen and it will work very well. So this is something that I would recommend take a look at. The capabilities are amazing. Uh, it's, it's something that I've wanted because you know when you're working with your smartphone, there's always something that you need to use. You need to get some extra files that might not be there all the time. And so what you want to do is have something like this that can work. Now a disadvantage of it is that it does take up this slot right here and you can't plug in something for charging is an example. And that becomes a factor. If you use the SD cards that are not from PhotoFast, then it can use a little extra battery life. That is a disadvantage. They recommend using the PhotoFast brand uh, so that you'll have a little bit longer battery life. I haven't used those yet, but my concern would be about the quality of the video that you would take, particularly if you're going with 4K video. So it's something I'd want to look into. But I think this is a great little solution for the kind of capabilities that it has and what it will do. And if you want to see what the, the price is, matter of fact, I did, went over to uh, the place where we get so much today, and that is going over to uh, Amazon. Take a peek at what Amazon has for it, and there we go. Amazon has it right now for $49.95, a handy little feature where you can get it. They also have on the PhotoFast website where you can buy it, worldwide locations there. Another nice feature about this I want to mention here while I've got you on the screen is you want to take a look at how it compares to other technologies out there. Like for instance here, PhotoFast iOS card reader advantages. There's an Apple Lightning SD card reader that is nice. It gives you the ability to put, plug in your SD card here and be able to use it. And uh, I think it's a very good one, but look what PhotoFast will do also. It'll use a lot more image files that can be imported, JPEG and then the JPEG, JPEG, PNG, BMP, uh, GIF files, etc. All of those MP3s, AAC, AIF, AIFF files, all of these audio files can be imported and used going back and forth. MP4s, etc. And you're able to, on uh, power consumption, you have low with micro uh, SD cards when you're using their specific cards there. Support for special files, yes, on this one, but not on the Apple device. And you can also use, here's the real key for many of us using Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud Drive, Baidu, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, YouTube, Vimeo. These are all popular formats. We use them a lot, and they give us a lot of capability. So I recommend looking into this. It's, the, again, the PhotoFast uh, CR8800, C as in Charlie, R as in Romeo, from PhotoFast, and uh, take, check, it out, check it out. It can be a really good tool to have when you're on the road or when you're moving around. I'm Terry Brock with TerryBrock.com. Thank you for joining me.